Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today we are going to talk about real case gel electrophoresis. So why gel electrophoresis result have small unexpected bands. And here is a problem statement. I conducted RNA gel electrophoresis after in vitro transcription T7 RNA polymerase. My template DNA is 4100 base pairs. So I expected the same RNA size after IVT. IVT stands for the in vitro transcription. As shown below, there are three bands and two bands are smaller than the template size. The upper band is approximately 4-5000 base pairs. What is the problem? Is it RNA contamination? It's not very clear, but if we assume that the gel electrophoresis is running from this direction into this direction. So this is going to be ladders on both sides. And here is the DNA bands of the interest, but as you see, this two out of this three are artifacts, something that this researcher didn't expect to see. And as you see, they even brighter than the bands of uh, researchers interest. If you are observing unexpected smaller bands in your RNA gel electrophoresis, there are several potential reasons for this observation. And the first one would be incomplete transcription. These smaller bands can be a result of the incomplete transcription where T7 RNA polymerase may terminate prematurely resulting in shorter RNA fragments. This can happen due to various factors such as template secondary structure, incomplete removal of inhibitors or suboptimal reaction conditions. You can try optimizing the reaction conditions including adjusting the concentrations of nucleotides, enzymes, template RNA and incubation time. Reason number two for such artifacts would be RNA degradation. RNA is susceptible to degradation by RNases, which can be present in environment or introduced during the sample handling. It is essential to use RNAs free techniques, equipment and reagents throughout the experiment. Ensure that all solutions and buffers are RNAs free. And of course, you should handle samples carefully to minimize the risk of RNA degradation. The other reason can be RNA contamination. Contamination with the smaller RNA molecules from external sources can also lead to the presence of the smaller bands. This contamination can occur during sample handling, pipetting, or through the airborne RNAs. To minimize contamination, maintain strict aseptic techniques, use dedicated RNA workstations, and wear gloves while handling samples. Yet another reason can be secondary RNA structures. The formation of secondary structures within the RNA molecules can affect the migration pattern during gel electrophoresis. The structures can lead to abnormal migration and appearance of smaller bands. We can avoid it by denaturing the RNA samples by heating them before loading onto the gel. This can help disrupt secondary structures and improve resolution of the bands. Another reason can be transcription errors. You have to remember that occasionally T7 RNA polymerase can introduce errors during transcription, resulting in shorter RNA fragments. While this least common, it can occur. Optimizing the transcription reaction conditions using high quality enzymes can help minimize the occurrence of transcription errors. Other advices would be denature the RNA samples by heating them at 65-70 degrees of Celsius for 5 minutes and immediately placing them on ice before loading onto the gel. 
You also can consider verifying the size of the RNA fragments using alternative methods such as qPCR or sequencing to confirm presence of smaller bands. And my last note would be make sure that this is uh, ribosomal RNA bands from your template preparation. Just run a no polymerase control if you haven't. Otherwise it might be that there are partial termination sites in the template and you get substational fraction of early termination. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.